let's take a look at how you can install Python and the Eclipse environment on a Windows PC. I'm using a Windows 7 PC here. This same procedure should work for any kind of modern Windows. This is the download page for Python 3.1.2. Use the downloader and installer for whatever version of Python is the latest. And if I scroll down here, you'll see that there's downloads available for a number of operating systems. I'm going to pick the one for this Microsoft Windows box. And I've already actually downloaded this. So I've got that already in my download folder. Let's also go ahead and download Eclipse. Now, in order to install Eclipse, you must have Java installed, and you should probably have the latest Java installed. So I strongly recommend that you make sure that your computer has Java and it's the latest version of Java. Windows machines do not necessarily come with Java already installed. So you need to make sure that you have Java installed before you install Eclipse. Eclipse is designed to be a development environment for the Java language. We're using it here to develop in Python because it has a lovely plugin available for Python development, and that works really well. Here on the download page for Eclipse, you'll notice that there's a lot of choices, and any one of these will actually work. We're going to install the basic Eclipse Classic. Most of the time when you hover over this link here, whatever operating system you're working with, it will get the proper download for your operating system. If you're not sure, you can select the one that you want from this list over here. So let's go ahead and get started with the installation. First, we're going to install Python, and that involves double-clicking on this installer, and I'll say Run. I'm going to go ahead and install for all users, and I'm going to install it in the default location, but I want to make a note of where that is. That's Python 3.1 folder right off of the C disk. And again, I'm going to accept the default since installing everything, and we want that, and then it just goes ahead and does its thing. And now let's go ahead and run idle and make sure that it works. And there it is. So now we know that we have Python 3.1.2 installed and it's working. Now we're going to install Eclipse. Eclipse comes to us in a zip file. So I'm going to extract all just to this default location in my downloads folder. All right. And now we have the Eclipse folder, so I'm just pressing Control N to open another Explorer window. And I'm going to come down here and find Program Files. And I'm going to install it in Program Files x86 because I downloaded the 32-bit version. You can put it in the other one if you want to. And I'm just going to drag this over here and move it to Program Files. So I don't want it to go in one of these other folders, so I'm going to actually drag it into this part of the window here where it says Move to Program Files. And I will continue and authorize. And there it is. And I'll open this up. And there is Eclipse.exe. And I'm going to pin it to the Start menu. And now, there it is in my Start menu. Alright, so I can close this window. I can close this window. And I no longer need this empty folder here. I'll just go ahead and delete that. Now it's time to start Eclipse. There's still quite a bit left to do here. I'm accepting that and running it. I'm going to accept the default location for my workspace. I'm going to say use this as a default so you don't ask me again. You can put your workspace wherever it makes sense for you. And now we're running Eclipse, but it's not ready to use at all yet. First thing we need to do is we need to install PyDev. That's the development environment for Python. And under the Help menu, you'll see there is a selection for Install New Software. And before we can even type something in here, we need to click on this Available Software Sites Preferences and add a new software site. And the URL for this is pydev.org slash updates. We're going to call this PyDev and say OK, and OK. And then up here we can just start typing PyDev, and we'll see that it comes up. So we select that, and it says Pending, and then we check on the one that says PyDev. You probably don't need this MyLin integration unless you know that you do. And if you're using MyLin, by all means, go ahead and add that. So now I'm going to say Next, and it found it. And so I'm going to select that and press Finish, and now it's installing the PyDev development environment for Python within Eclipse.
and say OK to the unsigned content warning. And it is strongly recommended, it says so right there, that you restart Eclipse. And there's no reason not to, so we'll just say OK. All right, we're getting closer. So now we have some configuring to do. We're going to open the Preferences, which is under the Window menu. And we're going to come down here to PyDev and click on the little arrow. And then you're going to click on Interpreter Python. And we're going to need to add our Python interpreter. So we'll click New. And we'll click Browse. And remember where Python is. It's under the C drive and in Python 3.1. And there's our Python interpreter. We'll click Open. And we'll just name this Python 3.1 and say OK. Now you'll get this Selection Needed window. You just take the defaults and select OK. And once you have all of this, you select OK. And this will take a few minutes. And now that you've configured the Python interpreter, you can create your first project. And so under the File menu, you hover over New. And you come down here and you select Project. And under the Selection Wizard, you click on the little arrow next to PyDev. And you select a PyDev project. And click Next. And you want to give it a project name. I'm going to call this Python 3 Essential Training. And you want your grammar version should be 3.0, and your interpreter will be the 3.1 interpreter. Project type should be Python, and click Finish. And it says it's the PyDev perspective. You can say yes for that. And over here in the perspectives, slide this over and right click on the Java and click Close and slide it back over. Unless you're actually going to be working in Java, in which case you might want to leave that. So now we're going to add a folder to our project. I'm going to right click on Python 3 Essential Training, and I'm going to say New Folder. I'm going to click on Advanced and Link to Folder in the File System. And then I'm going to browse, and I'm going to find my exercise files for this course. And I put that in my desktop. And there's Exercise Files. And I'll select OK. And so Link to Folder in the File System is checked. And the parent is this Python 3 Essential Training. And I'm going to say Finish. And there's my exercise files. So this did not copy the exercise files into my project folder. It simply linked to it. And so almost there, we're going to go back into the Preferences. And under PyDev and under Editor, we're going to find this thing called Hover. And if Show Doc Strings is checked, you might want to uncheck it. You can try it both ways. But for my purposes in demonstrating, I've unchecked it. Feel free to try it both ways and see how that works for you. So what this does is, when you hover over an object in Python, it shows the entire documentation. It pops up on the screen. And personally, I find that this gets in the way. You may find it helpful. So feel free to try it both ways. I've got it unchecked on mine. And then finally, under General and Editors and Text Editors, you want to make sure that Show Line Numbers is checked, because that's going to be useful. So we'll select OK. And feel free to look through the preferences and and experiment with some of the other options. And now we're going to go ahead and just load up our Hello World program and run it. And so I'll select Python Run and OK. And there we have it. So we've installed Python, we've installed Eclipse, and we've installed the PyDev development environment. And we've configured it so that we can use it for Python development. And you can use this environment to follow along with the exercises in this course.